Here goes the piece of shit. I need to throw these elements at some point. But yeah, here goes. 31 minutes left. Fucking hate this. Hmm. Wish I had a hot point 9901 or a 9934 uh, or a 9534 or in fact a 9934 instead of this. Oh wait, I probably have nearly any machine made by Hotpoint <laughs> apart from any of the modern ones like might have an, I might have an Ultima model like an Ultima Microtronic model look at this thing it's gonna jump it's, it's gonna go no it isn't it's being a bitch it's being dick face screw it Forget it. This thing is just... Why did I buy it? I didn't even buy it! <laughs> I kind of, like, chose it. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a bit unbalanced. Die! Jesus! Please explode. Or just jump a whole bunch. Yep! Boy, it really loves doing that! Holy shit. Is it's perfectly level though. That's the thing. It's actually level. It's just on this side. It's actually legitimately level. It's just the way it is. Please bang around a little. It'll be entertaining. It still thinks it's okay though, that's the thing. It's like a Becco, it just never wants to it just never wants to give off. I think the motor's gonna die in a bit. It doesn't sound healthy. It does not sound healthy at all. Went straight into it and just immediately regretted it. It just immediately regretted that one, didn't it? Yep, probably regrets this one. My god. Rocking around. A utility with a piece of shit I hate. Fucking thing won't bloody die and I'm pissed off to no end. I really don't like this at all, why can't I have a vintage washer in the house? Why won't mom and dad just tell me yes again so I can scrap this thing? Or sell it. <laughs> I mean, I've had it in once. Yeah, I know, it looks really bad. Well, evening. Yeah, 
Um, well, it's not exactly good evening. It's sort of a good afternoon, God damn it, type of thing. It's quarter past three, or something like that. Nearly twenty past three. Nope, it's not even that. It's twenty past one, nearly. My god, I don't even think this thing's level. But, to be fair, I, I, I couldn't care less. Ow, oh, my ears. <laughs> Damn it. Oh! Definitely giving off uh, the vibes of I'm on balance, please help my sanity. Oh my god, I think the shocks are going on this. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Why can't I just have an LG? It'd be so much better. Brace face. Yeah. I got braces. Screw all you. <laughs> I got braces. Screw it. <laughs> I should have had them out like last month, but lockdown in the UK says nah. Nah, fam. You can just have them in for a bit longer. I don't mind them though. They're not painful anymore. So, eh. When you, normally, like when you first get them, they're like really, really painful for like a few days, and you just want to just jump off a cliff and just go die, but. Like, you can't even, you can barely eat anything as well. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, you can barely eat anything with your braces for the first few days. You're basically just on, you're basically just going to, like, drink soup. And that's, like, about it. Lucky works, by the way. I should have taken this little test load out but and, and nobody nobody give me hate for this but these are the only bolts I could find that fit her that were in my little bolt stash there are a couple of um I don't even know what the hell they're from but I think they're possibly something to do with the uh, top weight on, on the uh, WM14 don't know though can't remember um but they're the only ones that I could find, so... Meh. The inner drum's still really, really bouncy though, which is nice. And also the door's still got the crack. Obviously. Yep, classic lucky trait. I love her induction motor though. Always, always have, always will. <laughs> Now that she's switched off, I can just leave her there for now. So yeah, back to the piece of crap. Um, yeah, I have absolutely no idea how it's even still alive after the first, like after the first spin and the mad suds lock. That was after the main wash as well, so I have no idea how it's still alive. <laughs> It's barely a full load, as well. It sucks. I wish they'd make this with, like, me, like, not just, not maybe melee quality, but at least the quality of the formula stainless range. If, if anybody remembers that, I, I, I'm going to give you some praise for that, but... Um, my auntie had uh, a candy and it was formula stainless can't remember the model she couldn't even remember the model um shouldn't even have any pics of it uh shouldn't have any pictures of it or anything but she said it lasted like 10 or 15 years something like that i think it was like 15 and she said it was like the best thing ever because it just wouldn't die 
Um, she said event eventually just the motor went on it and that was the end of it because she couldn't get a new motor. Sucks. It, it really sucks. Where with this piece of shit, if it gets so unbalanced that it snaps, it like, you know, cracks its outer tub. That's just the end of it. There's no, there's no coming back from that. We just scrap it. It isn't worth much. It's not even worth anything if that's happened to it. So, meh. But anyway, uh, an update. That was, uh, well, the little update of the WD-23. Is those elements there. Which are... I've done them. I showed them in part one, but... These are really screwed up. It's like they look perfectly fine going in. And and by the way, the heater box sort of goes this way. And there's like two bolts that hold them like that. So they're like overlapping each other perfectly. And there's like a clip here that holds them a little bit apart from each other. But for some reason, that came out with the entire assembly, like both the heaters, this clip came off and half of the hexagon bolt that was on the bottom. So I might need to sort that, sort that out on the bottom. Uh, I think I'll just get something like some JB Weld, but then again, I might be able to somehow put it on and hope that it stays on or I might be able to just leave it off with this new element because it's all in one piece. So this, it, the, these, these two are sort of merged into one. And then it's like, this is all connected, these two here, and it's like all in one. And then you got the two screw holes and the four, and the four terminals. And then that's it. I really, I really just wish that you know, a machine of mine could work for a few weeks. My WM22 worked uh, relatively okay. Um, it just had a seriously bad spin where somehow it stopped and started again with a half load of laundry and it it was all on one side and it just threw it so out of balance. And I think the pecker got damaged. Yeah, the pecker got damaged damaged because I found little bits of it on the floor afterwards and then that was sort of the end of that for a, a, a couple of days until I found out what was wrong and then that was it I just fixed it and it and it worked uh, up until I got the 9544 and had to strip it down again but um, anyway um, my Philip my, I like calling it a Philips Whirlpool but it's a it's just a Whirlpool it's sort of a Philips designed Whirlpool uh, uh, it's a Whirlpool AWM1860 uh, P and it it works for it worked for one day and I bought it off the dodgiest guy you can imagine right and it worked for one day before something in the pressure switch went and it overfilled on the second rinse on the cotton cycle. I was, I was gutted. I mean, it was going to be the best thing ever. But no, it turned out that the pressure switch is a dud. And I'm still trying to find a triple level pressure switch. So if, any, if anybody can possibly give me any links. I think those parts are discontinued now. But if anyone can possibly give me a link in the description. Uh, to any possibly... Possibly any parts I might... You know what, actually no, screw it, because I've nicked a thermostat off it as well. And to be fair, it's, it's, it's more hassle than it's worth, because I think the spider's going to go on it at some point as well. Because the spider's covered in lime scale on one of the legs, because it's got filled up with water at some point. It's all rusty on the back of the drum as well, so... I'm just going to leave it until I either uh, possibly give it to Matthew Bennett if he wants it or anybody in uh, the washing community 
But the thing is, I just really need to get let back into service wash so then I can post the marketplace listing. That's the thing, Just it's just the mainstream thing that I need to post in. But I've been an arse on that. I've been an idiot with that. But anyway, here goes the random bullshit. Bullshit. Da da da. Twenty nineteen. Utter complete. Complete and utter piece of shit. Yep. It's completely bullshit. Every screw that guarantee. Screw the guarantee. Forget about it. Screw it! Screw, screw that guarantee. Ten years. This thing will work for five. Or oh, probably not even that. Fuck that guarantee. <laughs> Nobody cares. Oh my god. It's open from eight till eight. 365 days a year. I doubt anybody wants to come on Christmas or New Year's. If anybody wants to go on that, to go that day, then, well, screw that, you're screwed for a while, aren't you? I mean, forget this, if this breaks, I ain't, we're not calling out candy on this. I'm just going to scrap it, or sell it. I'll sell it as, as, uh, help needed, parts required, let someone else deal with it. Did you see that? The motor just jerked ridiculously. That's why I hate it as well. Oh my god. It's a tiny bit unbalanced. It barely shows up on camera, but watch when it gets to like... 400 RPM or something. Holy shit, it's barely unbalanced at all. The Hot Point 95 could survive this. But this piece of shit can't even survive. Five seconds at 1400 RPM. It's probably on level. Slightly. To be fair, I couldn't care less. I really couldn't. <laughs> oh my god. Our lockdown rules might be easing tomorrow. Yes. I think my grand my grandma's coming over next weekend, so that's good. Oh god, my fucking eardrums. Why? Who the fuck designed this? Whoever designed this deserves to get put in a prison cell. Who thought this would be a good idea? Fuck! Fuck! Who thought this was a good idea? Why? It hurts my ears. All the goddamn time. I don't care that it's on level. In fact, I'm going to make it more on level, so the barons fail easier, probably. How about that? A nice, a nice failed, a nice piece of failed bearings and a piece of crap like this. You have all the technology and you make a piece of crap like this. And it's true, they had a shit ton of technology and made a piece of shit like this. Why did I decide on this? Why? I bet you the intellect doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Can anybody make like a music remix of this? <laughs> da, da, da. Oh shit. <laughs> it's easy to fucking move this 
this shit with one hand. Look at this. I can move it with one goddamn hand. Forget about, you know, making it heavy. 10 kilograms of laundry per s well, I don't even think it's 10. It's like seven. Ah, fuck. Shut up. God. Shut up, you piece of shit. God. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck it. I'm fed up with it. Screw it. That's it. I've lost it. It hurts my fucking eardrums. Fuck this, I'm using, I'm gonna use Lecky to just spin dry everything. Be a much better spinning quality than this piece of shit. Leaves everything. Even, even sometimes it leaves things literally dripping wet because it decided not to spin even though everything's perfectly fucking balanced. When did you have to fucking wait for a door to unlock? Like, fuck this. Jeez. Screw it. It's not for the kiddos, but... It's... More for the washing machine community. Beautiful induction motor sounds. It's glorious. I love it. I just... I fucking love this. I also like... I also like doing this randomly. And I don't do it often at all. Trust me. <laughs> I don't want to put my hand in there, but the motors... The motors on these are apparently really weak. But that's only if you like... Apparently if you like put your hand on it. On the drum. But I'm not going to try that. I haven't tried it at all. I have had a look at her... Her underside... Which, by the way, is really nice. Finally, the piece of shit's fucking unlocked itself. Right. What do I want to spin first? Oh, Jesus. Not everything. Not fucking everything. Tangles everything. Bloody hate this thing. See, look at this for, for drum size. I could spin probably an entire double, uh, an, an entire, uh, double, double duvet cover set in this. Uh, an entire double, uh, an entire double bed set in this. And she'd probably still have enough room for a few more tea towels. She's huge. She spins, like, three quarters of Zach's full load. Whenever I feel like I want, whenever I felt like I wanted to, whenever I felt like I wanted to do it. See, these, these are still damp, even though they spun at a thousand RPM. In fact, they're a lot wetter than a hot point nine five. They're a lot wetter than a nine five. I can tell you that right now. And that's what I fucking hate about this thing. I've hated the motor noise, right? I've hated the suspension design i've hated how weak the heater is i've hated the options i've hated the smart touch because you can't do shit with this like i've all i've always hated this you know if i want something nice i won't go for this this little click i can hardly fucking hear it fucking touch buttons you thought of that shit Smart touch. Don't fucking work. Fuck this. You know what? If I wanted to have a washer, I'd make it myself. I'd rip everything out of this piece of shit and make it a Raspberry Pi Bluetooth operated beast. With a full 2500 watts of heating power. Along with, you know... Hell, I'd probably not even have this machine as the base. I'd make it... I... 
you know what I'd probably do? I'd grab the washer dryer version of this and I'd rip out all the elements, tear out the motor, make it as a Hotpoint GEC operated machine with motor controllers, Raspberry Pi in the controls, rip all this shit out, it'd be mechanical buttons, right? Rip this out, right? Make it an A um an AKO timer from a hot point nine nine three four or something along those lines and then stick a Bluetooth modem here and an extra PCB board so I can have some excess cycle some extra cycles and it can work with the timer so then you got like an extra slot or something um, and then make sure that it's got the full 2500 watts of complete heating power uh, with two thermostats along with the compressor fan of a hot point uh, of a hot point WD41 and then uh, I'd also have the inlets ripped out I'd have all the fascia torn off and I'd just revamp everything make the inlets I drill a hole in, in the inlets, rip out everything on the back of the drawer, make a hole there, I make a hole there, there, and there, so then we can have three compartments. So that's main wash, pre wash, softener. So then it could be direct, not a fucking what I call the sieve, where there's inlets at the back. And it comes forward with a bunch of holes. I fucking hate that. Because it don't it don't do shit with anything. So I had to put everything that I want to use as detergent in the fucking drum. And I'd make sure that the machine had a reserve of soap, like a Miele W1. Um, which would be I'd actually probably put the dosing system from a W1 in there, which would be um what do you call them? Twindos 1 and Twindos 2, I can't remember the names. But I'd extend that so I have 3. And then I, I'd i probably run it off of a 25 amp breaker in here. And then it'd be a beast. Oh, and I'd probably also, in fact, fuck all that, actually. I'd probably get a Primus P6, slap it on there, uh, slap it under here. Right? In fact, no. Actually, screw the Primus P6, in fact. Uh, I get a Miele WS... Uh, okay, uh, an MC27. Uh, a Miele MC27. And stick it under here. Uh, one of the really small Miele professional ones. Not a PW6065 or 6055. Or any of the Mopstar series. It'd be something earlier. It'd be something of the little giants. Uh, a WS5405 or 5406 or something like that. I'd slap it under here and just do all that with it. Fuck candy. Fuck this shit. You know what? When I get my washer dryer back working, I ain't doing anything in this piece of crap. I want, I want to hit it with a sledgehammer right now. I'm so pissed off. Fuck this. Fuck this shit. Okay. I finished my rant. So. This has been Matt. We're about to go to 20, 2800 RPM, hopefully. Hopefully, if the breaker doesn't trip. <laughs> she doesn't have an earth fault or anything, but it's possible she has tripped the breaker before. Oh yeah. I love induction motors. Bloody love them. They're so quiet. They're just so goddamn quiet.
and I don't get it. Why are they so quiet? It's weird, but also fascinating at the same time. I'm sort of releasing the throttle and putting it on. So then she can drain out some water as she's sort of doing everything. There she goes, full power. Slow down. There we go. That's just the beauty of a, of a Creda made Electra. It's beautiful. I love it. Like, look at this. Suspension's not even that bad. I'm actually putting quite a bit of effort into that. Fucking hell, when does a, a spin dryer suspension outshine a real fucking washer's suspension? How does that work? It's just so shit. You know what? This piece of crap's staying off. Um, I've had it. I've had it with its shit. I've just had it. Alright. That's enough of my little rant there. So. Yep. Yep. That's enough of me for now. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't buy a candy, the fucking shit. Uh, never think about ever buying a candy product ever again. If, if you've ever experienced a vintage candy, well done, because, you know, you made a right, you made the right decision, but never buy a modern piece of crap like this, because they always disappoint me. They probably, look, if I was still in service wash, I think if I posted asking who actually likes candy on here, I think everybody would agree, would literally agree with me that literally they are shit. Because it's technically the truth, isn't it? It's the truth. They are crap. So, fuck this. <laughs> Fuck this piece of shit. Piece of shit. Oh, by the way, um, maybe in the next vid that I show this, this top panel might be blue. You know why? Because when you take it off and flip it over, it's blue on the other side. They've literally probably ripped something out of like a caravan or something and decided, hey, let's make top panels out of this shit. Fucking, fucking plastic down the sides. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna break, in it? Like a fucking Hot Point 95 series. This fascia, don't know how it ain't fucking come off yet, but it hasn't. Whole washer's generally cheap as shit. The chassis has actually bent with this machine. The actual entire cabinet has bent. Not from me, but from how many times it's spun unbalanced. This whole machine is actually fucked. It's jacked itself real bad, and I've no idea how. But fuck this shit. I wanna, I wanna scrap it. To be honest, I liked it for literally probably a month or like three weeks or a month, and that's it. That was, that was just. The bloody end of it. That was that was it. Finish with it. I'm finished with it. I'm done. Fuck this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask mum and dad if I can fucking sell this piece of shit because I'm fed up with it. I don't want to even look at it anymore. Fuck this. I'm done with this. Once I've done the bedding, 
I'm going in the garage and I'm hooking up the 9530 and that's it. That's how I'm doing the rest of the washing today. Fuck this. Right. That's it. I'm finished with the fucking rant now. I'm pissed off. <sighs> Thanks everybody for 200 subscribers and please keep on watching my mini vids because they're actually pretty fascinating to be honest. It's weird. I've... I've got one vid that's got 40,000 views, and I have no idea how. Pretty sure we're getting to like 50,000 views at some point. Uh, the only thing I need is like 800 more subscribers. And that's it, I think I'll be able to get monetized. Which will be very, very nice. It'll be, be beautiful getting monetized. But it won't be any modern crap like this often. It will literally, from now on, I'm not even filming this anymore, because fuck this, I'm not filming it, screw it, I'm filming all my vintage washers in the garage, uh, by the way, uh, I do have sort of a temporary system hooked up, but hopefully, and the help of, and with the help of a family friend, and once this lockdown's got eased a little more, where we're allowed to sort of stay over, or like visit people's houses, and not just have like, one person over and then I might um uh this family friend will be able to come over and hopefully help um me me and dad with the um with the uh plumbing hopefully uh I've already got everything planned out so yeah um I'm just gonna reinforce the message if anybody wants to buy one of these uh Please uh, send yourself to a psychiatrist and ask why, <laughs> and ask why you actually even liked one of these in the first place. Uh, downloading cycles on a Candy Grand Novita is quite quick, but then again, they are the exact same programs just over and over again. You don't get, you get fuck all with customization. But I've downloaded a Down Jackets program. And it's barely done shit. So, anyway, screw it. Uh, that's about it from me. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this piece of shit tried to destroy itself. Thanks for watching me ranting a little. And thanks for watching Lecky. Because she's going to be around for a lot longer than this piece of crap. Oh, uh, and by the way, uh, Lecky, I want to give her an upgrade. Now, it's not just any upgrade. It's going to be an auto-pump upgrade. And, and I don't think, I don't know if it will be possible. And t tell me below, but Brandon, is it possible to make a gravity drain, Creda style spin dryer, into a pump drain one? Because I'm actually sceptical. And yeah, I know, the thing about me turning my 9530 into a 9901, yeah, that was a bit silly of me, but whatever. It's what it is, what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's just me being an idiot. Right, I'm done now. See ya.